morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Friday morning. It is December 1st. It's December already. <laughs> it is just about 6 a.m. Happy Friday and happy December 1st. Uh, this is a uh, show that I've been doing for a long time, and it is a show uh, where I wake up kind of share my feelings with the camera, with the viewer, with the audience. And oftentimes I'm sharing the thoughts with myself. It's an opportunity uh, for me to talk a little bit and kind of work through some of my feelings. A lot of times uh, when I wake up at night, I, uh, uh, for some reason, have a lot of emotions and it's a time of anxiety for me or a time of fear for me and there's other times where it's a time of great comfort and a time of great peace and a time of uh, great happiness and relaxation so either way I share those feelings with you the viewer and I want to thank you for watching but anyway for those who have been watching a while you know it's not just a show about me talking it was a show about me talking it'd be called talking with Ken <laughs> But the show is called Coffee with Ken. So for those that have been watching a while, uh, again, you know, it is a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I have a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. And I am excited to take my first sip. It is a dark and wet December 1st morning. It seems like coffee would be the perfect remedy for the dark and the wet weather that's outside. Uh, my hope is that wherever you are, uh, whatever you're doing, you have a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Uh, <laughs> it's a pumpkin spice. I prepared the pot last night. I think I made it a little strong. Again, I talked about it before. I'm not one that measures the coffee. I kind of pour the grounds in from the bag into the filter. Probably a little too much <laughs> left in the bag. And it's a Dunkin' Donuts, hey, or excuse me, Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice. I probably had a little too much in the bag uh, for just one pot. But what are you going to do with like a teaspoon of grounds or a couple teaspoons of grounds? So I poured it all in and figured I'd enjoy it the next day having a little extra strong cup. And I think I do. just a little bit of a cold the last couple days. I usually have a hoarse morning uh, when I'm doing this, sh or a hoarse voice when I'm doing this show in the morning. Uh, it's a little hoarser today. I've been uh, at home with a couple babies that are getting over colds the last uh, week and a half, and obviously the weather's changing, and, but I think if you're at home all day and you're cuddling little babies and nursing them back to health and loving on your babies, you're bound to pick up a, a I don't know, a cold here and there. You're probably also going to pick up a stronger immune system. <laughs> Having kids gives you a stronger immune system. They always come back from school <laughs> filled with germs. All the other kids in the class. That's okay. struggling with anxiety over the last few weeks and I noticed it when I was laying in bed just now uh, my mind was bouncing from one thought to the next and each none of the thoughts were good and you know honestly none of the issues I was focusing on were that big of issues uh, but when your mind gets going real fast and racing real fast uh, sometimes it's hard to stop it and you know I'm fortunate that I'm kind of experienced to dealing with a racing mind and an active mind and a lot of worry and a lot of fear and I talk about it all the time over the last uh, few years I've realized I've caught myself to it and I've realized uh, first of all I've recognized that I'm struggling with anxiety or fear and uh, I have way 
days to calm down and relax a little bit and uh, I don't know, put those tools to work. I thought I'd put the tools away. I thought I'd fixed all the life's problems over the last few years and solved all my issues and realized <laughs> to look at the world in a different way and uh, <laughs> that everything would be smooth sailing from here on out. But what I've realized over the last few weeks is anxiety can return and you know, emotions are always going to be there, no matter how much work we do, or no matter who we are. Uh, you know, we're going to experience different emotions, and I think for different people, they uh, live those emotions in different ways. And uh, one of the ways my emotions come out is in the form of anxiety, and it, it was really important for me. I talked about it a lot, uh, but over the last few years, working through it and recognizing it and developing, uh, again, some tools uh, to deal with the anxiety. And, uh, again, I'd say the first one is recognizing and acknowledging you're feeling that way. Often I'll go to prayer. I'll say, hey, God, help me with, please help me with these feelings, these emotions, my racing mind, or whatever I'm worried about. Usually calms me down. And I recognize the things that I'm uh, grateful for, and it's real easy when you're in bed to think of grateful things you're grateful for. Once you uh, get to that point, and I will start with a warm bed or the soft pillows and the comfort of my sheets or something like that. And uh, often I'll drift off to sleep, uh, less back to sleep, listening to. Uh, some sort of meditative, positive affirmations thing, and that helps. So, again, I think my message of the day is no matter how much work you do, or how much work I do, or how much work one does, or, you know, you're always going to uh, have to face, you're going to have different emotions, and you're going to have different ups and downs, and I think it's so important, and I know it's been so important for me to be able to acknowledge it, and, uh, recognize when I'm experiencing it, so, I don't know, hope some of this was valuable to you, it felt good to me, to, or for me to talk it out, so, I'm gonna have one more sip of coffee, mm. uh, so it's Friday morning, it's December 1st again, it's the month of Christmas, it's the last month of the year, again, time goes by fast, I hope you're enjoying it, and, uh, um, I think the best way to enjoy it is live in the moment. And I forgot that on my list about dealing with my anxiety. Recognize uh, the things in the moment. And uh, uh, I think when you, uh, uh, the best way to slow down time, if you could slow down time, the best way to do it is enjoy the moment and enjoy the things you're experiencing, like the coffee, or my dog Holly laying on my feet and me petting her with my left hand start of a new day and a new month. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a